Good morning, Portage La Prairie. Mayor Knox here. Time for my June 12th council meeting recap update. I first want to give a little shout out and a thank you to my young friend Kennedy for letting me use her vintage City of Portage mug um, for my update today. Kennedy is Councillor Doyle's daughter. So thank you, Kennedy. Um, last night, it was a fairly short agenda for council. We um, extended our bylaw um, contract with Sirius Security for one year for the price of about $115,000. We've found since we switched over to Sirius Security that we have seen an improvement in our enforcement and our bylaw mitigation that happens so that we're seeing improvements in things like our derelict properties, um, keeping yards clean, etc. Also our animal control, we're seeing much more improvement in that. And then when and animals do come in, we're seeing great success in getting them adopted or returned to owners. So, so that is great. Um, Sirius also took on the skunk control piece of bylaw when our previous contractor retired. So not a fun job. I guess somebody's got to do it. And then they also added an additional person for their team in order to run our um, v parking vehicle. Uh, we often get teased about that vehicle. I'll be honest about what it looks like, etc. But what I can say is that it is very efficient. Um, the purpose of that was that our businesses downtown and citizens wanted to see our parking meters gone. And so with that, that's what happened. And now we have free two hour parking downtown as well as free three hour parking in Heritage Square. And the, the feedback we get from businesses is fantastic. They get people being able to pop into their stores without having to worry. Um, as for the vehicle, it does its job. And so I, for one, can attest that I get parking tickets just like everyone else that I have to pay because sometimes I forget or sometimes I forget about moving around the corner when I need to. Um, but uh, overall, we're really happy with that program. So we also saw our April building reports um, where we've seen an increase from last year and our planning district just attributes that to a couple of big projects happening in our city. We also um, had a review of our Connect Portage when we did the emergency alert a few weeks ago and how that went. Um, for history, that system was put in place in 2018. So it's been in place since the whole time I've been on council. And I know for one that I was here in the early days and I was the public safety chair when we started doing these tests and there was there was some glitches. It didn't run as smoothly as we'd wanted, but we can say that this last time things went very well. Um, you get you can get messages on your landlines, on your cell phones, on your email, however you have it set up. And the purpose of that is for us to be able to get important information to citizens as quickly as possible. Um, we, we can have emergencies in this city where we need to talk to people quickly, and that's what this system does. So if you're not um, getting those messages and you don't know how to, please feel free to reach out to City Hall and somebody will walk you through what you need to do. If you have a landline currently and it's in the white pages, then you will get that call automatically. That rounds up City Council meeting for last night. A couple of things that I want people to be aware of is check out on the City Facebook page. We just put out a information sheet on frequently asked questions about mosquito control. Right now our mosquitoes are pretty good in Portage with the dry weather, but that can change quickly. But we want people to understand what the policies procedures are for that process of fogging. Um, it's not as easy as people think. There's a lot of regulations um, with both our policy, the province policy, um, environmental policy. So it, it's a good read to figure out what actually happens. Anyway, I hope you have a great Tuesday in Portage La Prairie. It's going to be another nice one, and we will see you soon.